I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. It's not that I don't respect you. I do. I've learned quite a bit from you. You haven't learned squat. God, I've got to stop saying that. You could put me away, but you won't because of what you'd miss. Your delightful company? You know, if you put me away, you can't do that unless you exonerate Carly. And we both want to put her away because she's interfering with your family happiness. And that can't happen, can it? Don't push it, Vivian. This isn't over yet. You're not kidding. Come on, Carly, pick up. Voice mail. Damn it. You didn't. You did not. Damn. She's awake? Yeah, yeah well, for about a half an hour. Now. I need to hold on. Hold on, just a second. Just a second. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to you first. There's something wrong. No, no, I just, I just, uh, you know, some things I want to go over with you. Yeah. Well, then why can't I see if there's nothing wrong with her? Why are you stalling me? Trust me, if I had met you before, I would have known it. You couldn't. This is weird. This is weird. What, what is going on? You know, maybe this isn't the best time. Damn it! The reason you don't remember is that you were just a little baby. What? I only held you for a moment. But it was the most wonderful moment of my life. Why would holding some baby be the most wonderful moment of your life? Because it wasn't just some baby. I was holding my daughter. Melanie, I'm your mother. 